In this video we're going to be studying the colour wheel and first off I'm going to be doing a colour wheel made with all the cool colours. I'm starting off with lemon yellow and the lemon yellow I'm using is Sennelia. Lemon yellow. So I'm getting a nice amount of water on my palette here and I'm going to paint the very top triangle with this lemon yellow. I want to have a nice amount of water on my brush mixed with the pigment so it's easy to paint in and doesn't become too dry. This video is made for my beautiful art class and I'm sharing it here on YouTube as well. that's all painted in nicely the next color I have I'm moving clockwise around my palette and it's the top color on the right hand side which is Windsor blue this Windsor blue is made by Windsor and Newton and it's a green shade so I'm counting one two three four little segments and I'm painting the Windsor blue into the fourth segment because the other three segments I'm saving for my secondary and tertiary colors which will need to be painted in there I'm trying to be nice and neat here <laughs> now, if you've got plenty of water and pigment on your brush it should flow in nice sometimes we make the mistake of not having enough water and it takes longer for us to spread that pigment evenly so if you've got a nice amount of water in your brush it makes it a lot easier to paint that in I'm just washing my brush here and drying it off a little bit and just painting in clear water down in that corner and the paint will just draw into where I've painted that clear water So now I'm going around to my third primary colour, my cool red, which is the permanent rose. And that's on the left hand side of my palette below my warm red. And I'm going to paint that in. So I'm mixing up a nice amount here on my palette with some water. And I have once again counted around to my fourth segment and I'm painting that in there so here I have my three primary colors my Windsor Windsor blue lemon yellow and permanent rose so now what I'm going to do is mix up my first secondary color so I'm taking the lemon yellow and the Windsor blue and I'm trying to mix up equal amounts so I get a really beautiful green that's sort of not leaning towards the yellow or towards the blue. I'm trying to sort of get a nice green. And that goes in the middle segment between the lemon yellow and the Windsor blue. This is my secondary color that I'm painting in now. Now I'm going to do the same with my Windsor blue and my permanent rose. I'm going to take the Windsor Blue on my palette. I'll give my brush a wash and then I'll pick up some permanent rose from my palette and mix that in. I'm wanting to get a really nice purple. Once again, that's not too blue or not too red. And this is my second secondary color <laughs> and I'll paint that between the blue and the red so I've got a really really nice purple there and now after I've washed my brush I can pick up some of the lemon yellow and the permanent rose and mix those together to create my third secondary color which will be orange To 
just adding a bit more permanent rose because I think it was looking a bit too yellow that's better that's looking more like the orange that I'm after and I'll just paint that into my segment here so I have my three primary colors which is lemon yellow Windsor blue and permanent rose and three secondary colors green purple and orange So now we have those, the next step is to paint in our tertiary colours. So I've taken the green that I've mixed up prior and I'm adding some lemon yellow to that green. It's actually a really pretty colour this, a really beautiful lime green. It always reminds me of frogs. So I'm painting that in and it's my first tertiary colour which is a yellow green because it's got more yellow than blue my second tertiary color will be my blue green which will be leaning more towards the blue so I'm just adding more of the winds of blue into that paint mixture that I had before I'm painting that in Now I have my purple mixture here on my palette and I'll take some of the permanent rose and add it into that purple mixture to create a purple blue. So that means it's got more of the permanent rose in it than the Windsor blue so it's leaning towards the red. And it's giving me a really beautiful color here I just love these colors on this color wheel and I'm painting that in then I will take my Windsor blue and add more of that into that purple mixture and I'll paint that in for my fourth tertiary color which will be purple blue My fifth tertiary colour will be with the red and the yellow. So I've got that orange mixture on my palette and I'm adding some of my lemon yellow into the orange mixture. Just trying to get that right colour there and painting that in. So that's like a light orange. I probably could have made it more yellow but that's okay so I'll take more of my permanent rose and add it into my orange mixture on my palette and it creates like a really beautiful red it's really pretty and this color is my red orange which is my sixth tertiary color and this color will finish off the, the color wheel made up of the three cool colors and I think it's really pretty so we have lemon yellow Windsor blue and permanent rose are our primary colors we have three secondary colors green purple and orange and when we mix up our tertiary colors we have six tertiary colors and our tertiary colors are between our primary and secondary colors so we have a yellow green a blue green a blue purple a purple blue a red orange and a yellow orange and that makes our six tertiary colors and that is our cool color wheel 
So I have painted two more colour wheels here. I've got my original colour wheel on the top left hand side which is my cool colour wheel. The top right hand side I've painted exactly the same colour wheel except I've used warm colours. The yellow I've used is a Winsor Yellow by Winsor Newton. The blue I've used is a French Ultramarine by Winsor and Newton. And the red I have used is a Sennelia Red. And that is um, a Sennelia colour. So I've painted this colour wheel exactly the same way as I painted the other colour wheel. But you can see in the warm colours on the colour wheel, you don't get the real pretty greens that you do on the cool colour wheel because the yellow and the blue that I've used have actually got red in it. French Ultramarine has red in it and so does the Windsor Yellow. So because red is the complementary colour to green, it's desaturating the green. So I'm not getting the pretty greens like I do in my cool colour wheel. The bottom colour wheel is my Spirit Primary colour wheel which just means I'm using a warm and a cool for my yellow, a warm and a cool for my blue and a warm and a cool for my red. So in the very top segment where I have my yellow, I've put a line down the middle and I've divided that in half and I've got my cool on my right and my warm on my left. And you can see the blue segment, I have the cool on the top and the warm on the bottom. And my red segment, I have the warm red on the top and the cool red on the bottom. The reason I, why I do this is we start with the yellow and we go around to the right. So we have the cool yellow, which gets mixed with the cool blue. And because they're both cool colours, they don't have any red in them. So I get a really pretty green without any red in it. Then I go to my warm blue. French Ultramarine and it's mixed with my cool red. Now they both have red and blue in it, no yellow. So therefore I get a really pretty purple. Then I go to my warm red which is mixed with my warm yellow and they have no blue in the colour. So I get a really really lovely pretty orange and by doing a split primary colour wheel we get the really beautiful colours that aren't desaturated at all like we have in the warm primary colour wheel and the cool primary colour wheel. So we're maximising the benefits of our colours to the best we can to create some really nice mixes. Thank you for watching my tutorial on the colour wheel. If you have any questions please ask me in the description box under the video I will have all the colours I've used here and for my art class, lovely ladies, thank you for coming to my class, thanks for watching and please ask me if you have any questions, okay? Thanks guys, bye!